welcome to traffic in this video i am going to explain about do while loop in last video i have already explained about while loop the main difference between while and do while is while loop is entry control that means we check the condition at beginning and do while we check the condition while exiting from the loop and remember while loop uh, do while loop can run at least once even if the condition is false but while loop can run only when the condition is true so here is given one format of do while loop we have the main function after that uh, one variable int i equal 0 then do and that looping statement after that increment operator and after the bracket while condition and then return 0 so this is the this is a simple uh, do while loop program to display I read in class 10 under SEBA for 5 times. Now let's have an, another example as I have already did in while loop. So, so this one instead of while I have written here do and after exiting from the loop I have written the condition while i less than n. Now let's run the program. How many times I want to repeat? So 3 times. So let's enter the number 7, 8, or uh, 6. So you, my program has finished because I have uh, written only 3 times. Now suppose uh, I am writing the command as this one while i less than n. Uh, while i greater than n. Now let's run the program. Suppose I am writing 2. Now condition is false because uh, because 0 is not greater than 2. But still it's asking me to enter the number. And it is exiting from the loop. Here you see. Now condition is false. Because 0 is not greater than 2. But still it run one time. Because it is do while loop. But if I write the same program in while. It will not run some uh, let's come to some another program of do while which given in book this one here the program will take input as long as the condition uh, choice is one and when the user enters zero the program will stop so how we'll do this first let's remove the previous part we'll take one variable var and one more choice choice equal one now we'll write do then curly bracket and here we'll write statement first printf here enter a number Then we'll write scanf. And inside bracket we'll write percent %d because I'm taking integer and n% percent the variable name. Variable name will store in it in variable var var. Okay. Now we will also display what uh, the user have entered so print f you you have entered percentage d and in after that we will write comma then the variable limit is var then semicolon now we will ask the user whether he want to continue or not. So again once more printf. Printf. Type. 0. 2. Exit. Slash n. Otherwise. Otherwise. 
any other key to continue <coughs> now we'll scan the number so scan f here we'll write percent d and we'll store it in choice so and person choice semicolon now we'll exit from the loop and here we'll write the condition while choice not equal to zero means the program can learn while the value of the choice is not zero if the value of choice is zero then it will exit from the loop so let's run the program c h o i c e oh sorry semicolon <clears throat> Now asking you to enter a number 5 and here you have entered 5 type 0 to exit 0 so it exited from the program now let's see type enter a number 6 type 0 to exit otherwise any other key to continue suppose 6 enter a number so if I type any other number, it will continue. So to exit from the number, we will have to type 0. Now I am typing 0, so it is exited from the program. As long as the value of uh, choice is other than 0, it will continue. When will input the value of choice as 0 it will stop or exit from the loop so this way this program will work now suppose we have to do we have to do sum of the number so whatever we enter we have to display their sum how we'll do that we'll need one more variable here in this program we'll only will take one more variable as sum and we'll define the value as 0 okay now instead uh, here we'll write one more statement sum equal sum plus the variable var okay now we'll have to display the result so we'll write one uh, to display the result after the while condition will write just before return will write one printf statement printf summation of the numbers is or sum equal percent d and this is stored in sum after that semicolon is needed so let's continue the program now run the program enter a number 7 so you have entered 7 I am entering any other key now enter a number now I am entering 5 suppose now I don't want to enter anymore I have just entered two numbers 7 and 5 so now 0 to exit I am entering 0 so sum equal 5, uh, 12 because 7, plan, uh, 7 plus 5 is 12 so the result is displayed as 12 so this is how the do while loop works in the while loop there are three parts this one is initialization <clears throat> this one is initialization and uh, this is condition and here this part will be con uh, increment and decrement now let's use for loop
In for loop we have three parts. In addition to the above mentioned loop while and do while, we use another loop in C programming that is for loop. And for, for loop has three portions. First one is initialization, then condition or test expression, after that update expression or increment or decrement. So here is the format of the for loop for initialization then semicolon text expression then semicolon then update expression after inside the bracket body of the loop and after the bracket outside the statement whatever we want now let's have a program here the same program is given to display i read in class 10 in five times so let's write this program we'll first remove the inside part but so first we'll take variable int i this is for counter okay now i'm writing for i equal zero from starting time so zero i less than five then i plus plus so here the first one is initialization second one is test expression and third one is update or increment or decrement okay now we'll have bracket inside the bracket we'll write the body of the loop so print f we'll write here whatever you want right i read in class 10 and slash n and semicolon now let's run the program <coughs> So you can see here I read in class 10 displayed in 5 times. Now let's change the program. Suppose I want to display the numbers from 1 to 10 using by using for loop. First we'll write i equal 1 and the condition will be i less than equal to 10. Then i plus plus. Now instead of this statement we'll write here percent %d and d is stored in i. Let's run the program. So you see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in very small letters and together. So if you need a new line or spaces or comma anything like that, you can write after percent %d. Suppose slash n. Then it will come the next number in next line. So this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This way we can write the numbers. Now let's some other program whatever given in book. So this one is a program, a program to print summation of n numbers. So you see here first header file this one, then main, fun main function int i n n1 sum equal 0 and then a value will take from the user. So let's write the program here i have already written here i and one more will write here one uh, two more variable will take n and one more is sum equal zero and this uh, n value means stopping number this stopping number is as n here this number will take from the user so we'll write here printf enter let's see what have written in book the value of n now we'll use scanf statement and we'll store it in n so percent percent d comma and person n now instead of 10 we'll write here n okay and here inside the loop we'll instead of printf write sum equal sum plus i now let's run the program enter the value of n suppose it is 5 let's see oh i have not displayed the result 
after the loop we have to display the result also so once more print f statement here we'll write sum of first and digits are digits is percent d and d is stored in sum so let's run five so sum of first and digits is 15 is it percent d so let's run value is 5 sum of sum of first five digit is 15 uh, notepad let's see whether it is 15 or not 0 no need 0 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 now let's see what will be the sum of first 10 numbers We are writing here 10. So sum of first 10 number is 55. So this is how this program works. Let's say some another example of book. What this program is doing? The program is paying to summation of n numbers entered by using keyboard. Now we'll write the number ourselves. In previous example, we have just uh, adding serial numbers. Here, we will enter the number ourselves and add it. Okay. Now, here we will need one more variable in this program only. That variable will store as var. Now, suppose we have to display the, we have to add the numbers which is entered by user, not the serial number. So, let's see how we can do now just we have taken one new variable it is var and we'll write this two statement to take the input from the user and here also we'll change the statement instead of i we'll write here var now let's run the program so value of n 3 i am suppose entering the number is 7 3 2 so it should be 12 let's see what will be the answer answer is 12 so this is how you can use for loop for doing sum of n numbers and uh, in next video we'll learn some patterns how we can draw patterns by using loops and uh, i have already given the chapter 4 as a pdf in telegram channel you can download it from there and if i will post the google drive link also in comment section you can download it from there also thank you for watching See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.